I, I, roll. Yo, I, I felt like I didn't pay my respect when I was using the button, man. Like, I Baby, definitely I want to say roll. rest in power, ODB. You know? I didn't. Ah, I felt like I, that should have been the yeah, first thing for now me. I feel like you're starting this off on a somber note. Not at all. Not at all. Complete so opposite. That. Nah, rest in power. But, nah. But one of the th- I'm honest, saying it like, look how he lives on. But I promise you, yo, one of the things I was going to like bring up was yeah. the whole Twitch death, yo. You heard about that, my boy from Ellen? I don't know. I know someone by that. I saw a couple of posts, but I, I don't follow it. So I, I don't know who that the is thing or nothing. Is, I, I've only seen a hand, handful of um, Ellen episodes, but yeah. I know who the man is. Okay. And even just from Educate the stuff, I, I would randomly see in the media, because of course that's that's the industry that I'm in, sure. Yeah. Yo, that guy look like nothing. Don't bother him. Always smiling, always dancing, always singing. And the, so far, the speculation is they, they haven't confirmed it yet, but ended up in a hotel room and blew his brains out. <sighs> what? Like, how? Like, there's a lot of people, a lot of celebrities, especially out here questioning what happened here. Yeah. Because, yeah, we have the stories of the Robin Williams, the Kate Spades. Yeah, yeah. But this one, this one we didn't see coming uh, at all. Yeah. The Robin Williams one's crazy. So it, 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 I can't help but wonder, what's going on out here? What was it uh, Chris Lighty that did the same thing before? And F- F- Fifty says that in his book too, you where he opened up a separate investigation just to check in because he didn't expect it. And a lot of people are saying that. So he's a social media star. I take it like Twitch. I've I've seen like clips. I've never seen a show. Like so one clip. Like the only clip that I'd even remember is when. Um, Mark Wahlberg's there, and he's got to do a push-up for the crowd or whatever. Like you know how, and she's like, "Now do it in proper form." <laughs> that shit was funny. That's all I remember about. I'm, I got I'm nothing not, else on Ellen. I'm, I'm not even a big Ellen, yeah. Ellen fan myself, but yeah. I have seen a one-two clips here and there, or whatever, whatever. Yeah. But you know how a lot of these late-night shows have, um, like their what? sidekick, basically. Yeah. So that's kind of that's. Oh, what he that's was who he Ellen. was. Yeah. Okay, so okay, all but right. He, very happy go lucky um yeah. presence like he's just always happy okay so he's on a show okay and then for this to happen a lot of people are wondering yo yo a lot of people are walking around with some what's, real problems wh- going on what's upstairs. your take on it i i've thought about it a couple of times but i haven't fully gathered my thoughts but this i'm telling this whole suicide thing it's how many people are actually out here walking around thinking about that type of stuff on a day to day? A lot. Because there's no way you just up and woke up today and you're like doing it. And I always tell people, and Nick Cannon was, he took a lot of backlash for this too. And he had said something about a kid that used to work for him who committed suicide. Yeah. And he sort of acknowledged the courage that it takes yeah, yeah. in a way. Yeah, yeah. But it's also a shitload of selfishness at the same time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But it still takes courage, yo. It it depends on your mental state. Like, what if you're drunk or you're on drugs? Like, mm-hmm. it, does it still take courage? You know what I mean? Yeah, but... and You get what I'm saying? Yes. So then the other one that comes to my mind is Mac Miller. Yeah. And... The uh, another one is the, the, Jazz Fly and J- Jazz Fly. Robin Williams is Jazz Fly too, because these are creatives. Yeah, these are very, very, very creative people. Yeah, who they? I can know, it, I, I can speak about the Robin Williams one a little bit because I read his book. Okay, and it, everybody was kind of shocked at the time because he was exactly how you're describing this person. Like he was, it was always good to be around him, even when he's on drugs and stuff like that. From what I remember of the book, anyway, mm-hmm. right? But when he ends up hanging himself or whatnot, there was a part of his mind that he didn't have any control over anymore. I don't remember what the disease is called or whatnot, but they, when everybody found out after- It was after, Alzheimer's. I think it was Alzheimer's. No. It, it wasn't Alzheimer's. No, 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 it wasn't. No. Trust me, I, I, it's probably it, even op- it's probably still even open on my phone because I just looked into the- Yo, the please tell me. Because yeah. I questioned the same thing when it yeah. came to Robin Williams. Yeah. So- I, I don't know what it's called, and I, I hate when I get in those situations where I can't recall the exact wording or whatnot. But I know, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah. But the way they, the way that I took it on was that he was in a state where, like, yo, you're a creative, and you can't even create, like, anymore. Like, your creativity is kind of turned against you, so to speak. Like, you don't have access to it the way that you did before. 
Um, yeah, right. I don't know. That, yeah, I'll, but, I'll reread the book and but, correct myself if like I'm off. But like th- that chapter is very interesting when they gave back the result of why or what could have caused it apart from like. And one the of the saddest and, parts to it all for me, too, I, I guess they don't re- necessarily owe us anything, but I wonder how many of them are actually leaving letters behind. And they're like the families aren't releasing that part of the information, mm. but they're actually giving rationale as to why. What was it that brought me here? Because we all take on a lot of things in life. Yeah. But it was sort of, this was the one that broke the camel's back. Because like you said, yeah, if yeah. we're all thinking about it every yeah. so often. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we are. I don't think we are. Because I've, a lot of people, I, you know what? I could be totally wrong. Because I'm, like this guy was probably the perfect example of somebody who just never seemed seem down. Mind you, I'm not around I've never been there in person, but everything you hear from everybody on the road right now is, what? Yeah, but what? like, how how close are they though? Like, I I, I feel like if it, it's so easy to like, kind of like what I was saying last time. What's real anymore? So if I could put on this act in front of everybody, however often that I'm seeing them, like, who really like? How much am I showcasing? How much do they really know? How close are you that you really really know? It's easy to be the happy person i feel no like this is a common thing like there's so many of these celebrities or these big youtube social media people and Mm -hmm. this is what you hear after and it's like whoa it seemed like everything was perfect and then well no it wasn't (laughs) you know Mm -hmm. and i i don't know how to answer that question though like what was the last try that broke the camel's back like fuck i don't know you know maybe it was another drink or another text message or fucking another thought like (laughs) I don't know. It's scary, though, bro, because I feel like, especially lately, more and more people are there. Like, there's so many statistics that talk about how depression's gone up and um, even, I guess, things that are equating to that, like even separations, divorces. Like, this whole, whatever, what do you call it, uh, COVID thing caused a lot of shit. Like, even people losing their jobs. People lost their jobs. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's fucking real. Um, I feel like, since we're talking about it, it's like, what can you do to not be in that state? Because I, I feel like a part of it is if you have an edge on how to release your stress or what you're feeling or how when you're hurt, how to deal with it, yo, it could, it could, it could change a lot. Like even this, I feel like the conversation aspect of it, fuck. A lot of people don't even have that, man. Like just to sit here and kick exactly. it. Like, fuck, we could, exactly. Yeah, we could edit exactly. this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's therapeutic at the same time, right? 100%. And that's why I rate some of the other like programs that I'll see every so often. Um, even Math Hoffa, for example, my expert opinion. Those yeah. guys legit yeah. took what the mandem just did in the barbershop. Yeah. And that's all that it is. It's just barbershop talk. It, it, that's the one place that's where it's a forum where we can actually discuss real things. But... In the barbershop, there's still that level of vulnerability that mans aren't willing go, are gonna go across. Yeah, we'll talk the basketball, we'll talk the best rapper, best hip hop song, yada yada yada. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. It's not easy to do it. I, I think a big part of that is why Charlemagne's so good. Like, even though um, people have opinions about his last show, but the amount of different things that he was able to get through put out mm-hmm. and do it would almost seem like he came out of nowhere yeah but he kept working and a big part of his recipe in my opinion is the vulnerability he just says it like it is man basically and it's like that's such an amazing way to live look how free that is bro and and i'll add in the fact that he's got the perfect partner i think makes a huge difference in that situation too about? his wife oh okay. I, I think that makes a big difference in terms of like Oh yeah, for sure. How much? Because no matter what he says, yeah. he's still going back home to her, and yeah. she accepts accepts him for what he is. Exactly, exactly. That's like what you're. What I was going to that conversation that we we're having last week that we could have mm-hmm. gone further. Where yo, it's not easy to be vulnerable, and then if you are being and you don't like it, don't waste our time. Like just just move on. I feel like that's applicable to every single fucking relationship. If it was easier to just be yourself, oh my god, it'd be great. Buddy, speaking of last week, we still have a conversation to go back to. Yeah, yeah, no. Only going down this year. Actually, that should have been a. Hadouken! Oh, we're going straight there right now? No, we don't have to. Uh, yeah, we'll, like, 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 it seems so far I, I just feel like, I feel like I teased a little bit, and yeah. then I, I. 
because of something you just said, I'm like, don't forget that one. No, 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 no. I'm I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Um. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw talk, you off. Talk, talk about vulnerability, huh? Nah, okay. it's, funny. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned Charlemagne though, because yeah. I did happen to just catch um him on the pivot. And the pivot's not one I regularly watch too. Who who hosts that? Um a couple of football players. Okay. Fred T, I, I know you're not a sports guy. Yeah, I'm not. But well, no, no. It's not that I'm not. It's certain sports. Say what? Yeah, it's Ryan Clark, Fred Taylor, and um, yeah, I'm I'm just combat sports. I like I, like I like boxing, but more than that, UFC is just my thing. Like that's so yeah. yeah. football is a sport that everybody needs to love, and I just don't understand why. I just never got it into is it. very it's it's strategic like a mofo, bro. That's how I feel like about combat sports. Man, they are strategic, but there's so many elements to it. Of what? Often, there's so many elements defense, to what? Special teams, um, yeah, your it, coaching it, staff, your I, offensive coordinator, your defense coordinator. I'm not your, the type of defense I'm, that you play, the type I'm, of offense that you run. I'm not debating your receivers, that. your run. Trust me, it's just there's so many. I get that, but like to me, like w- what excites you the most when the guy gets taken down or tackled or something like that, or the, the, the like when they bang into <laughs> like what is it? Like I don't get it fully. <laughs> to me, that's <laughs> when I go collect my money. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my favorite part. Okay, <laughs> so maybe you got to bet on combat sports then. Maybe maybe we'll get into a little bit yeah. more. Like like what it takes to know that the underdog is gonna win a fight, to know what game plan they're gonna come in with, to know hey this this is the guy's strength, this is his weakness. I'm gonna Man's break really this. Are you studying like that? Hundred yeah. percent. They got people watching footage the same way the NFL does to just find <laughs> like a pinpoint. What's his name? Um, man, I wish I had my old Twitter account because he messaged me on that too. Um, fuck, I'm gonna have to sub this in. Um, I would Dean be- Thomas, I think. Yeah. He literally gets paid to watch these videos. And just recently he had like this funny clip of him online, right? Some guy comes into his class and starts talking shit to him. And he just snaps and starts beating up the student. But anyway. Um, I would love this for idea. one of those guys to end their match yeah. in like a wicked piece of like grapple on one of those guys. Like a, what, what did it, like a, like a WWF move? Yeah, but he, <laughs> has, but he has him in like an awkward way. Yeah. And he just whispers in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> you know those ones because that yeah. Monday get that's close. Good. Yo, that's, like, that's good. That's good. Like I'll, close, and I'll, they're wearing they're wearing less than the football players. Yo, <laughs> people always make fun of football players for wearing those tights and slapping each other's ants and asses and dancing around type shit. But look at these MMA guys. Yeah, that's funny. And Matt, what if some? But, for all we but know, some of these guys are getting off on that. They're. I don't know. Can you imagine? That's. I. I don't know. I could see it being a thing. Um, I'm sure there's like gay um, That's MMA fighters, but I don't. I don't think they're. I really. I don't. I don't think you're getting turned on when you're fighting like that, though. Like you're. You're, you're like the guy can knock you out. Like that's another kind of excitement that I don't. So I, don't like, I can't relate to that. You've never like played around with a girl, like play fight and gotten turned on. Never. I don't know about all that. Like what's what define play I fighting? I don't know. Like some dumb shit. Oh, man, man, you see that shit on TV all the time. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be like, wait, like you're younger when you're first. I lo- can't think of a time that stands out, but I imagine I would have had to at some point. Uh, Don't take but, much for But me, I'm bro. going back to this. Like that, that play fighting is intended for that. This play fighting is not play fighting. This is fucking fighting. <laughs> this is like, what'd you say? <laughs> Boom. And it might just give him like some next level aggression know, to like I'm take out. Like, like, there are people but, out here getting off on some ridiculous things, so you never know. Look at this guy bringing it in. <laughs> I'm just saying, you never know. Yo, um, I'd have to agree with that. <laughs> I'd have to agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> there could be somebody at home right now jerking off to you, for all you know. You know what? <laughs> oh, man. I could say so much there. There might be. Is it wrong if I say hope there is not playing? <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, like, was that funny? That could I take that to my like to do my stand up? I can take that on the road. That was funny. I, I, I like the other one. Which um, one? Just before that, um, whisper the pause. Oh, <laughs> I know. I think that was a good. I I, think, I like that one too. No, that's funny. That's Imagine funny. you know Mortal Kombat. Everybody had their yeah, finish yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. If that was his. Finish him, and then he finishes him, and then it's like pause. 
<laughs> because I, like, it, it would have to be one of those like strangleholds type shit. Oh man, that's funny. That's pretty funny. And maybe they could make that in like a in a video game. Fuck, I'm out here tossing out ideas. Fuck you. You're creative. You should get paid for it. I mean, that's the goal. Only going up this year. You gotta watch combat sports, though, bro. You gotta watch the level of mental, at, like what you need mentally to be in that space to perform in front of those lights. It's just you out there, and the guy is about to knock you out, or he could knock you out, or whatever. Like everything's on the line. That level of intensity, and to be able to perform at that level, fuck, that's beauty, bro. That's just there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. All right, so you know what? Let's uh, go fly a kite. I have a story for you. Let's do it. When I used to do karate, there's this one female yeah. that was like it, bro. Enough man couldn't mess with her. Yeah, yeah. Because she used to do this thing where yeah. the second she, like, it's go, yeah. she would like go back on her leg and just stand up with her her leg, her front leg ready to kick. Yeah. And she was fast. Yeah. So you could, tr trust me, you couldn't do it. It was yeah. very challenging for people to get to her, to get a punch in or whatever, and get the point. Yeah. Because she ready for you the second you even move. Yeah. I'll never forget being at a tournament one time. No, oh, sorry. It wasn't even a tournament. Um, And her and I were fighting. Yeah. Bro, I gave her a jab in her stomach. Yo. Hold on. You and her are fighting at the yeah. tournament? No, I, it wasn't It wasn't the like tournament. A, just a sparring day? We were day? sparring at, yeah, our, okay, okay, our okay. dojo. Yeah, yeah. Um, And I jabbed her. I'll never forget. It was a jab. How old is she? She's a year or two older than me. So how old are you guys at that time? I want to say maybe 11, 12. Okay. All right. Go. So you jabbed maybe, her. Maybe 10, 11. Okay. But I remember giving her a jab. And the thing is, like I said, I started off by saying she used to whoop a lot of these guys' ass, bro. Yeah. Like it's yeah. Big, like guys bigger than me at that time were asses kicked by her. Yeah, eh? So and she's like thirteen, yeah, we're 12? young, yeah, young. So I like I'm not gonna go in there and just what am I, is everybody else losing on purpose? I don't know because I see you guys actually trying and <laughs> getting your asses kicked. Yeah. So I'm gonna try. Yeah. I tried and jabbed her in her stomach. They yeah. had to like pause the whole thing, and my senseis had to come tell to me on some like. Pump it. <laughs> <laughs> It's good you're beating up girls, yo. <laughs> Whoa. Don't do that. Damn it. Yo, can, can, is, like, can he Come admit on, this? Man. Don't do that. Don't nah, do nah, that. Nah, nah, I, I get it. No, I'm, listen, I'm, we're I'm, editing that entire thing Nah, up. man. Here, I'll make you feel it. better. Yo, this guy gave me the Joe <laughs> Buttons, bro. <laughs> Oh, With the man. speculations out there? <laughs> Come I should have let him finish. I jumped in too early. Nah, but that was gold, yo. That was gold? That Damn was funny it. to me. That was fucking funny. I'm uh, mad, yo. Yeah, you, you punch. <laughs> That's some bullshit, yeah. man. Did she ever come back? No. What? Like, did she ever yeah, start? but you know what I just thought to myself? Yeah. Like, did, did she still? Like, that could, be go that could go so many ways. She could have given you props. Like, yo, like, you actually got me if she's running everybody else in a way. Yo, like I said, yo, try, man, fuck it. No? I guess, I don't know. Did she come back? Or was that the end of I her career? Like not, right? <laughs> this guy just took her out. She's done. Her dad comes back know? next. I want a refund. Like. <laughs> I, I'm t it's one of those moments that just will forever stand out in my mind. That's funny. Yeah, but yeah. I just, I really thought to myself, imagine that off of that one time, yeah. if somebody were to ask me, have you ever struck a woman? Yeah. I mean, no, but I used to do karate, and I'll True. never forget jabbing her inner, like, inner stomach that So, so he, here's a joke where, where I was going with that, right? Because at my boxing gym, we had girls there that were boxing as well. Yeah, yeah. I'd get in the way go with them as well. Yeah, right. There was, yeah. There was, there was a point where I was just starting off. Yeah. So I don't have a fight. I am just starting to spar. She's already got fights, and I wish I remember her name because she's dope. Like, she's a cool person, right? Um. She got the better of me. Like, she was beating me up, man. So, it happens. Even right now, again, to combat sports, like, a lot of the female, like, champs, they'll beat the shit out of the average guy. Like, it wouldn't even be close. But whatever. Under under the circumstances, like, it's all good. Like, you're competitive, bro. <laughs> I am. That's the one thing I... Oh, very. Man. Yeah. Very. And you have to be. Till the end, yo. Yeah. It... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs>
Winner, uh, Genyo. Got to. I, I never hit anyone that hard, though. Like, I, I, I controlled it. Like, like I, I would not go 100%, like, even when we would continue to spar with the women and stuff like that. I mean... Uh, but I, I feel like a jab here or whatever, an uppercut here, it, it, it's good. Like I it's don't the, remember whether she, like, uh, walked into it at the same time or something. I just remember getting her. Yeah. Because I'm telling you... Yeah. No, she was knocking them down. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I feel like you're. But then it, you're in a dojo. Now, like, you're, tra- Yo. you're training. But thinking back on it now, was it were those guys just being polite because she's a girl? There's no fucking way. There's no way. I there, I'll never. Yeah, the that. age is what the age is what confuses me though. Like you're saying, grown men the size that you are now back Man, then. No, this was when I was. See, like what is their age? Or you don't remember the karate thing? That's I feel like that's a one part where i don't really have a good concept of time mm. like a point of reference to know i know i started, what grade are you in i started yeah when i was seven okay i started when i was seven so is that like grade four is it i don't even know isn't seven seven like grade two i don't know no is it yeah, man. yeah it could seven, be yeah seven's grade yeah. two seven's grade two i was six in grade two so yeah six seven i guess yeah whatever that's okay like, whatever that's when i started yeah, yeah. Till when and though? She was two years older than me at that time, and then there was people that we were sparring with and like in part of the same class. Yeah, that were probably another one or two years on her. But that time frame, having a year on someone is such a big deal. Yeah, I know. I I remember like so whatever. If we're in grade one, grade two, grade three, and you see yeah, like yeah, a grade yeah, five yeah, or yeah, a grade yeah. four, you're like, oh fuck, Yo, the big kids. Listen, I remember when I went Dick. to when I went to Elm Bank. That Monday looked like giants to me. Yeah, yeah. giants. Yeah. When I was in grade six, walking in there, mind you, we're in the Rex and Wally Pop Batman Debo, yo, because <laughs> those guys are banging from an early age, yo. They were outside, outside, yeah, and all the way outside, and I was a man that was outside, but I was coming from way on the next side, so I'm walking all the way over there. I remember when, like, um, you'd hear stories like there's certain cabbies, like once they hear that you gotta go to that part. They're not going. They're right dropping there. you lights away. <laughs> I love that you went there with the cabbie shit now because yeah. I don't know how current you were with your news this week. I'm not current. But you heard about my... Oh, come on, man. The Beck taxi scam that's going on right now? No. So somebody stole a Beck taxi yeah. in October. Left the numbers on, left everything on, the paint job, the whole nine. And he's driving around the city <laughs> collecting carts. From collecting people, what oh debit cards and shit like oh okay because i didn't think that's not where my head went i thought he's just playing like that taxi game in the arcades back in the day where he's just fucking still working like it's his car nah, <laughs> so it's like he's going shit which is kind of the same driving thing, I guess. around insisting that the customers pay in uh in debit yeah that's um, even worse that is that's kind of fucking funny and he's just collecting the cards he, i think he's watching them put their pins in or so i don't know so Whatever who's not doing their cards. job if this is fucking happening Beck, ta- so apparently, the, <laughs> is he not cap- reporting it stolen or like cap- exactly, exactly? Because that's what we were questioning. Because yeah. how could Beck Taxi not have made it a bigger story from three months ago? How is this like the so someone's getting fired at Beck Taxi, oh, I, I, like in their accounting department or something? Who like that. knows? But it's this cra- that's crazy to me. I think um, that's hilarious. So somebody actually, somebody I work with actually said. They know a friend. They have a friend yeah. who actually lost four thousand dollars like the day before. Like the same guy got him or some shit. So he's collecting. He's collecting the credit card information and like going and swiping it or, it or doing, doing whatever. Dumb, I don't know. How okay. he's collecting the pins, whatever yeah. he's doing. But his scam is he's giving like when you give him the card, yeah, he's giving you back a different card, which I've heard before. People doing that other yeah, shit, yeah, but yeah. bro, yeah, and it's bad out here. It's funny. Because the amount I I've oh, I've man. said it here before, the amount of telemarketers that call my phone, it's crazy. Oh. How you guys have so much time on here? It, I guess it's automated dumb shit. But and I remember you saying you ever stop and talk to those guys. Yeah. How you have time for that? It it depends where they catch me. What if I'm about to order some food? I'm in line to order some food. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a little quick conversation to see where their sales skills are at. Like. Let's see what you say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I yeah, can... I am in the market for some <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. air duct cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? What you got? And then, yeah. So, but like, here's what a question. He's like, oh, like, I remember one time his question was, how many furnaces do you have, right? Yeah. I'm like, I have three. Yeah. He didn't stop there. He kept asking me more questions. Yeah. 
Well, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> How am I gonna have three furnaces? Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, man, if I was like buying, if I was really in need of this right now, like I wouldn't buy from you. I didn't. That wasn't good. I don't know. See, like that shit. Like that's where my mind goes. So I'll do that. I have a next friend that, <laughs> man, I shouldn't hear him out. He'll have full out like, like cuss words with them. Like he's not Indian, but he'll swear at them and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know how he's got time for that, either, but it's funny. Whatever. So everyone's got their thing. You don't do that. You don't have your little moments where you like give them no. a minute or two of your time. Actually, you know what? You're never mind. You're you're uh, you're the guy that you don't want to miss. In thirty seconds, and call back, and then fuck you, and that's it. That cost yeah, you three I, days. But I no, but I okay. <laughs> I explained that though, right? It was it made sense, right? It made if sense. I, if, if I get a, a an abundance of missed calls, it's actually a good conversation. Yeah, an abundance of missed calls. Yeah, I go back into my phone. Yeah, the most recent person that called. Yeah, I'm calling you back first. Yeah, if you don't answer, I'm calling the next. Hold, person Hold on, that's down. not that's not exactly true though. What aren't, you aren't you going based on priority? Cause I asked you, where am I on that list? No, but you asked it yeah. when um, if somebody was calling, would I hang up on them? Exactly. To answer your phone call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying I'm looking at my like I'm done whatever oh, I'm doing. And I'm so, looking at my phone. So that's a flawed system. What do you mean? Like what? Why are you going down that list when someone else could be higher on the priority yeah, exactly. list? Exactly. That's it. I know, and, yeah. and I knew that's where you're gonna go with it. Because yeah. like if if, I'm, if my name's there, even if I'm fourth on the list, yeah, yeah. Why the f wouldn't you be calling me back first? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So where am I on that list? Because like it, it, if you're saying you're doing that, this this awkward enough. First, but. exactly, <laughs> that, exactly. Because I was supposed but, to, say, but you could be direct. I don't <laughs> even care. Like, like I'm, I'm I'm that like I'm that person. <laughs> like tell me, I don't care. I want I want to know like. I want to. I want to hear the justification. If it's legit, cool. If it's not, then it's like, yo, this guy doesn't like me. Go fuck off. Like, I, I ain't calling you. You could strictly get a fucking WhatsApp message or a voice I note. Moving know. forward. I mean, I'm playing. I'm playing. You know where to find me. Because <laughs> I was. I was gonna say, you better pause when you ask that question. Nah, I'm comfortable. I'm not, I'm not good at this pause game when it gets like it's too advanced now. Like, fuck that level. Nah. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs> and after the break, we're going to get back to that conversation that you keep where. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, 2023 is right around the corner. What are the man them saying for New Year's? Because mm. <laughs> it ain't far. And you know what's crazy, too? Yeah. You remember what, last year, Boxing Day? Yeah. What we were doing. And look where we're at now. Yeah. No, I see that. We're talking about fucking... Only going up this year. Like, just look at the production quality. <laughs> <laughs> no? Only going up this year. Come on, man. Like that that that's the thank fun. you no, our but, but, sponsor <laughs> best sponsor in the world. <laughs> kite. Oh man, I, I need a kite button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you oh, know man. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, can, we can figure button. something out. We yeah. can figure something out. Until then. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's go one more because they didn't believe in us, but <laughs> oh, he got it too. He got it too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were setting me up. <laughs> you know what? I oh. should have, yo. Oh, uh, that was some good. styles and uh, oh, Jada shit. I should have gave you that'd the setup. Good. That would have been You know good. what? Yo, you know what? Even that though, if what? we look, if we reflect back on that, what? I didn't even have a fucking board in the first couple of yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna get that a duke it still. <laughs> yeah, like I said, yo, the battle's on. Yeah, I already have a next one for you. I just didn't have the time to put it in here. Have you listened to? I have. I have a next one that I've. Yo, yeah, you know right? what? 
I, I had I one. Next one. I, have, I, have, I have one at the Manning bringing the legs too. If we were going to do the Tory Lanez thing, I had one, but then I'm yeah, like, right. yeah, I, I, oh man, it was going to be good. I'll probably just end up doing it. I did it earlier. I don't remember if you're paying attention. Tory, right. I don't think we, we're not going to get into it today, but the Tory Lanez thing is becoming interesting. It is becoming Yo, check a this out. little interesting. I it, it took me a while to get into it. Mm-hmm. I, I was I, I found this next guy, um, Huberman. Have you heard of Huberman? Never had a, no idea. That so again, I'm, I found out about this guy, and he's like uh, some sort of professor or whatever, and he's just talking about really fucking smart shit. He's talking about dopamine and explaining like how it works, how long the highs are, how you feel off of exercising, how you feel off of drugs, cocaine, weed, alcohol, whatever, sugar, coffee. Mm-hmm. And then he goes, um, if you just take cold showers or cold baths, mm. it increases your dopamine levels to a whole other fucking state. And it there's no drop. Yeah. And I'm like, and I've been I've been messing around with cold showers a little bit, but not regular enough. But this ooh. is funny because I'm a man that loves a warm shower, you know. Me too. Me too. I love it. Me too. I'll stand in there for a long time. Like, my I, water tank will be empty. Yo, I'll blast it. Like, not yeah, even, like, yo, like all I'll, the way. Oh, trust me. Especially in the cold. Man. But it's that comfort. Like, I, I, this is what I was talking about. It's coming. Like, I, I'm trying to fight all these comforts in another level. And mm. it's becoming fun just fucking around like that. Um, But I, 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 there are people. I remember hearing this on... Um, Whatever Jeezy's podcast is. Yeah. I don't even know if he still does it, but I happened to catch like two episodes. Yeah. I don't know, last year, the year before sometime. Yeah. And he had somebody on there. I almost want to say Tony Robbins. Is that somebody? Who yeah, 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 yeah. It might yeah. have been Tony Robbins who yeah. he had on there. I was talking to him. And he said something about this whole this whole cold shower thing. Yeah. And what it is, is he'll take a regular shower in yeah. warm water. And then at the end of the yeah, shower. yeah. yeah. I did that twice this week. Yeah. I don't even know why it came to me. I yeah. did it twice this week. Because you heard it from Tony Robbins. That's yeah, but that to. was two years ago. And we never spoke about this before we turned the mics on. You probably, so it's funny yeah. how you're yeah, yeah. bringing this up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you're. I did it twice this week. I promise you. I, two times. I believe it. Yeah. I, I feel like when you're having those kind of conversations or you're putting out that type of energy, you mm-hmm. receive it in a way. It doesn't have to be said or seen or whatever. Your body starts wanting this kind of stuff, man. I think he said that what he's trying to do is train his body to react in a, in a moment's notice. Yo, he's crazy. Like he's, He he's, sounded kind of crazy. He so knows. It, some. I read uh, The Giant Within, which is mm-hmm. all right. Like Everyone says it's such a great That's book. That's his book? Yeah. It, 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 I honestly... Not familiar with the guy, but somehow he, if, that, if that's he's the like person, one of the main motivational guys. Is he white or black? He's white. Yeah. Okay. Has yeah. to be the same guy. Then. Yeah. Has to be the same he's guy. like six four. He's got like a goatee, deep voice. Pull up uh, a picture. Pull up a picture. That. Not so insert it. Sure. He'll insert it. But I, I want you to know so you can be like, oh, that guy. Like, like so you know. Anybody? No? Have you don't want to do that. I, no. I'm pretty sure it's the same person. Even if it's not, who cares? Yeah, all right, who cares? <laughs> but anyway, he he's got like crazy. Been made, he's got crazy studies where he's just like if you just lean back and stretch like this, like your confidence levels go up or something like that. Yeah, it's like eh? he talks about all these positions that are good for you. Like he does a lot of stuff. He's got a one on uh, life force energy too that I I, I got it, but I did, I haven't gone through that one yet. It's long, it's lengthy, and I wasn't fully into. It. He's got he's got good shit on money too. He's got a really good book on mm. money, mm. the Money Game. I think haven't read it. I went through like the first little bit, and again. Didn't hold my interest long enough. I wasn't a good enough reader back then. But, um, yeah, cold showers, though. So, like, you felt better? Yeah, and they say they're, they're healthy for you because it helps with your heart rate. Yeah. But, Inflammation. Um, yeah, that too. Um, Like, re- reviving your cells, like, getting blood in certain spots. Yep, like, it's, yep, yo, yep, I feel yep, so good when I do it. But the first, like, 20 yeah. seconds, let me yeah. tell you, I'll tell you a funny story. But they even that. say in winter it's good for you, too, because it, uh, it helps without, uh, to slow down drying of your skin. mm they know that. Yes, yeah, but what were you gonna say? I, half the people that follow me on my IG right now mm-hmm. are from my conversations at a LA Fitness sauna. Like mm-hmm. that's not even a joke. Or somewhere I traveled and I met them there or whatever. So these are the conversations that I'm having with these people. Like literally just yesterday, sitting in the sauna, these guys are talking about how they're timing their workout. They only want it to be an hour, and I just jump in the conversation. Don't know, him. yo, why an hour? He explains it. Oh, it's really good for blah, 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 whatever. Said a whole bunch of stuff, right? He's giving me facts behind it. He's learning all this stuff too. And he's telling me which ones I should go watch, like in terms of podcasts and stuff like that. So now I'm open to it. So my point being a duke right here is I found it I found it hard getting into the Tory Lanez thing. Like it was like I didn't fucking care. Like, you know what I mean? Like it was yeah. just like I, it was like Mike. whatever. 
That's the thing. I don't trust me. I don't care myself. I know. I know. But somebody will like somebody will send it to me. Yeah. I'll take a glimpse and yeah. then say once I look at that, oh shit, that's just going but, And partly because I know enough about the situation just through the media shit. Yeah, yeah. To know what it's about. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's taking these interesting spins. And I almost liken it to what OJ was going through in the nineties because this seems this doesn't seem like a real situation here yeah like this might seem something that we're all going to be tuned in to on a thursday afternoon at 2 p.m when they send out the verdict it's going to be like oh shit i don't think it's that big or even close Corey's in the bronco it, i don't even <laughs> <laughs> like yo they brought the bronco back like yo, a while. yo. <laughs> have you seen them yo? i've seen them a lot because they could go on still <laughs> like we whoever designed that them. yo Yo, but the timing of domestic? it too. Like the timing of it too. Like here, like uh, this is where I go with certain things. Like the whole Tory Lanez thing. I thought about it. I did. I wouldn't have gotten into it if you never told me about it. But then I started to see the interest. But it was mostly because of the like I used to like when you say who do you watch on podcast. There was a moment that I had like where I was watching Whack One Hundred a bit too. Mm. He, he kept my interest with mm. like the way he would say certain things or whatever. So he's got a whole different interesting point of view with it. And then uh, I guess Hot 97, I was watching Ebro, and he's interesting with certain points of view as well. But it's crazy that everybody's on it like reporters now. Like, is that what YouTube is now? Like, everyone's just a fucking reporter? <laughs> All right, yo. So last week, when you showed up here. Oh, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> I, whatever, let's go. Let's go, yeah. Um, You walk in, uh. and you're like... Like, I want to tell you something, but I'm not sure how this is going to go, so I don't want to tell you. And then, da 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 And I'm like, yo, it can't be that serious. There's nothing that you should, like, yeah. whatever it is, trust yeah. me, I would probably have something to say to it. Yeah. So do you want to finish from here, or should, like, I don't know, would you rather me continue trying to explain this? But I, I feel like I should just reenact it right now. How um, far back are you going, though? Oh, uh, I was just going to go. I was surprised with your reaction. Okay. So, so I'm like, yo, um... I just went to Oasis. And then, what did you say? You're like, isn't that the, the I think you said, isn't that the swinger club? I'm like, wait, what? And no, then I, you, no not, I said, isn't that. I was like, are you talking about the swingers club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know if you told me right away or not, but basically, you're like, yo, yeah, yeah I went there. I'm like, you went there? I was, like, I was kind of, yeah, I got taken back by that. Man, I got taken guy, back by that. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Next time, just let me tell the story. This guy just made it sound. He fumbled that, bro. Like, did I? I yeah, thought I, did, I, did, like, I thought I did such a good job. You murdered my reactions, my responses to you, because you were like, "Yeah, the whole Oasis thing." Listen, I listen, like, yeah, it's, I did. it's like this guy wants me to give him more credit or something. Listen, I never claimed to be a good storyteller. All right, <laughs> so you could have gone with that. I've already praised your storytelling. That's so, what I'm saying. So that that's a horrible setup, then, man. Like you should have just been yeah, like, "Yeah, I, I got I this." I, you just, th this is when you got it, and you don't need to pass it. Why are you passing it? <laughs> I like to play point. Like I like to run the point. Now nah, be competitive, man. You gotta win. So yeah, go. The Swingers Club. Yeah. When I said yes, I've been there. You were all like, "The fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you been there? Yeah, long time, brother." <laughs> like I said. To you. Dan Corgan, real bad man. Yeah, see, if I could I'm say joking, that, I'm <laughs> if, if I could have said that, yeah, yeah. When, 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 instead of my reaction, yeah, that would have been the one. <laughs> nah, but okay. I like, need my version of that button too. I feel like I should have some Jamaican buttons, like with the accent and everything. No? You gotta, you gotta, I gotta get some buttons. Uh, You'll never be able to beat me, but. Well, there you go on that competition shit again. Fuck. What? Look, like, where's the teamwork, man? <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, definitely drifting. But yeah, no. So yeah, cause then I, I just had my experience right now. So I just went. Yeah, but it's coming yeah. like you went in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a different time than I did. Yeah, yeah. You went there for a party. Yeah, it, yeah. Let's get yeah, that real. Exactly. Yeah. So then I yeah. clarified for you. I was like, oh, I've been there before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't go there on a random Tuesday night. Wednesday, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wednesday's the night, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Anyways. This guy's been on a Wednesday, too. He just threw a Tuesday out there. He's probably been going there. <laughs> hey, man. man. <laughs> Next time I'm in the sauna, it's like, what the fuck, bud? Why don't you just say it? <laughs> you, know, you, you, know what the, you know what the joke is right now? Yeah. 
today, yeah. I was around two guys yeah. that I work with, right? Yeah. And one of them had a few questions about some camera, whatever, whatever stuff. Yeah. And I had said, yo, there are all pe- people out here willing to have productions like Zealous, for example, shout yeah. out Knots. Yeah. Come in and shoot their OnlyFans and possibly some porno shit. Yeah, yeah. They had <laughs> like they had the whole system set up there for some fucking so then live shows and shit. Jokingly, these yeah. guys are like, How long before you get into it? And then one of them went so far to give me a name. Yeah. The man said, I hope you go by the name Boston Cream. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> Do you like the name? And I said, you know what? That might work with my nickname already. Boston Cream Bun. <laughs> Winner, Ganya. No, no not what you say. No, oh man, Boston cream butt. <laughs> That's sh- come on, that shit ain't gonna fly. <laughs> no, you gotta you gotta wear a t shirt with that on next fucking episode. <laughs> Boston cream bun. Boston cream bun. Brought by Kited. <laughs> Kited Clothing. With an addition with First King. <laughs> That'd be dope. Now well, some... Buddy. Only going up this year. Shout out First King Clothing, yo. Trust me. You got to make that t-shirt. There's... Yo, have you seen but, those jackets? Have you haven't seen the jackets that he has on? No, yeah? I've seen it in the video. I've seen the ads. I haven't seen them in person working yeah, it. You know, yo, brings me back to the 90s, man. I shouldn't say... Not, well... Late 90s, early 2000s, Averex jackets. Mm. That's the vibe. It always comes back. I miss those Averex days. Back to the Swingers Club. So, how did it go? Because you were even sort of amazed that I'm able to like tell you where the rooms and shit were. Because I even shouted out the little van that they got upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> nah, but that's a hard one to forget. The van, th- that, that van thing was pretty dope. So. Still. Uh, yeah. I went there for an event. Yeah, yeah. Found out what it was while yeah, there. Yeah. And still happened to take advantage of what it was while there. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. That, that like, I, I feel like, what, how did that feel for you, though? Did it feel like, okay, I'm at this spot like this? Or did it, because those circumstances, I feel, are different from when I went. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's, you went there with intent. I you guess. knew what it was, and you're like, I, "Oh, I, I'm gonna I, be out here." I, I knew what it was. My but dick I, gonna be swinging. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> but I didn't know what to expect. Like, yeah. I didn't do some fucking research or some shit. Like, I yeah. had, I had. So then, how'd you hear about the place? Like, the <laughs> the lady that I went the with, lady. Yeah, the lady that I went with, um, invited me out to that. So I got it from her, and I'm like, "Yo, yeah, right." She extended the invite. Yeah, yeah. That's how it went down. I'm like, yeah. Hey, how did that come up though? No, I can you get, talk about that? I, I can't get into this whole personal life, SB's personal life like that. But yeah, like <laughs> clearly we're fucking talking about it if I'm in there. Like, nah, but like I, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's how it all. I came mean, up. I've never had that before. You know, girls out here on some. Yo, boy, you want to go to the swingers club? Like, let's go. Yeah, but like, so anyway, so this, this is actually recent. But even back in the day, I ain't got that kind of confidence. Be- <laughs> <laughs> Boston cream bun. <laughs> <laughs> that t shirt ain't gonna fly. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. That, that, whatever. I feel I would never go there by myself. So I get that. But like, the confidence is coming from her, to be honest with you. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, let's, let's go. So it was. It was a whole, it was a different experience. But, but I did, again, back to. Sorry, from go. you saying that? Yeah. Almost suggested me that that, so that wasn't your first time. My first time what? Exp- that wasn't your first time experiencing her. Nah. Okay. nah so nah, I just nah. want to make that clear. Because I'm like. Yeah. Your first time? Is somebody going to wait you there on your for your first time on? So I'm like, let's go do that. Here's a joke let's though. Let's make this shit exciting. <clears throat> so let me, let me talk to that now. So when I went there, they give you this whole speech about the rules and all that stuff, mm-hmm. right? So, oh my God, I can't believe we're talking about this, but whatever. Um, he gives you the whole speech and then they're talking about it like there's communities mm-hmm. um, where they oh, talk sure, about all this sure. and so they have their dates or, like you could literally meet someone there I actually feel like that thing like that happens commonly there that lifestyle um, anyway yeah but not a part of that community it was just the experience would, like, you go I, back? would you go back 
uh, <laughs> not to that specific spot. Have you researched another spot? Yet? I have not. I'm leaving. I'm leaving that to. Oh, um, yeah, it's not on me. Them type of vibes. Yeah, eh? yeah. I'm I'm open to the experience. If if it and it's not like a. Uh, how do I say this? Um, it was interesting enough to want to do it again, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like it, and but but yeah, 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 yeah. and it, it's it, like you'll think like this could like everyone's perception of what it is yeah, right yeah, now yeah, that yeah. hasn't gone is probably yeah. like all over the fucking place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> it was fucking dope though. Because so. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. While I was getting it in, mm. or sorry, even before it started, a man must have like. Peep the door on some like oh can I watch? Yeah yeah. Back then I said no. Yeah. I might just say if you wanna watch still like cause I'm about to go to work on this. <laughs> cause Man. he never said nothing about being involved. You get what I mean? Yeah. So if you wanna watch, yeah. bro, like I, is that a pause? That's a pause. That's a pause. But fuck, that you only live it's, once, it's, yo. It's on you. You only live it, once. So yo. I, I know people. It's watching not as me. you're like staying over there. You wanna watch? You just wanna watch. You wanna like, be a spectator? Whatever like. Yeah. But then, yo, is that the, the room that you were in? Is uh, yo. is yo? It's a it's a it's not as open as the room that I was in. <laughs> yeah, but would it then be awkward now if he started jerking off to you? Because that's live porn. What I if he started jerking off? I, I, I never thought of all that. Oh fuck! You know what I mean? I'm not thinking. Think all, about it right now, because I feel like this needs to be a conversation. I'm not watching him though. What would you do? I'm not watching him. I'm I'm yeah, watching you're what see I'm it. with. It. You're gonna catch nah. it in the corner of your eye. Nah. So I'll, I'll ex- like the angles. What if he tried to start coaching you? <laughs> so th- there's a rule. First of all, coaching. Is there a rule? Talking, bro? Talking, <laughs> 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 this guy just shot a sub at me. Like what the Uncle fuck? Real Damn, that was some fucking sky yeah, I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, eh? <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. I'm not getting the coaching. But there's a rule. So there's a red line that they could stand behind yeah, and yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've told you that already. Yeah, but I, can they not talk uh, then? I don't know. I, I, I never, they weren't talking to me like that. Like, like I'm just, oh, like, I was on my mission so, to. <laughs> okay, but then I, th- I feel like we need to make this clear now. Yeah. Because. Yeah. How it works is there are rooms and areas that you can go in that aren't as like open as other ones. There are rooms where it's just that's all you're gonna see once you're in there. But there are yeah, there are, yeah. there are like spaces that are a little private yes. to where people have to come find you versus you just being out here. So the room that you're talking so about, they gotta come find you. you. Even, oh well, you told me it was yeah, on the top floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> am, I, am I airing out your business? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was in this bitch? <laughs> Next Wednesday, Boston <laughs> Cream Bun. <laughs> Yo, you, you gotta get a deal with fucking Timmy. It's a Timmy sponsor <laughs> sheet T-shirt. <laughs> Fuck, roll up the rim. <laughs> you get a picture of Bun on that shit. <laughs> Hit the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. Um, yeah, there's a there's some rooms that are more exclusive than others, and then there's some fucking open area. Yeah. The Wednesday is more of the like. This guy's breaking down the days now. Let's go. I'm I'm just sharing. Like yeah, I yeah. want I want like when I got in there, I wanted to I, I ask questions, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so they give you a tour, and I'm yeah. asking their questions. Yeah, but you're yeah. giving me a tour. Let me understand all yeah. this stuff, right? So Wednesdays are like their fuck. I should get paid for this. I should get paid, but always <laughs> needs to pay me. This um, guy's out here like he's um. <laughs> What's my boy's name? Brian Pumper? Yo, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's a that's a you're going with things I, out there. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't even know who that is. Who's that? Some porn star. I got. Oh, uh, that's another conversation nah, itself nah. too. But you know what? <laughs> you know who's coming back? You know who's coming back? Nah, please, please. Miss Mystery. We're gonna get I, here in this chair, and we'll. I've been hearing that. We're gonna have a yeah. one big conversation about all of that stuff. Yeah, all right. That, but that, anyways, that should be a good one. I, I trust me. I was growing up. I was never the guy who's out here watching porn. I barely. Had, I don't even have time for that shit. I was That's, going to work, yo. Like you get what I mean? What do you mean going but to work? I, like going to work? Oh no no. Like like going to like like going to work. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> nah nah nah. Like going to work yeah. to like make money. Fair. But you get what I mean? Like I just the porn thing. I never really got into. But the one name that I feel like everybody kind of knows is uh, Jermaine. It's, it's like Brian. Pump, I, I swear it's Brian Pumper or something like that. Ron Jeremy. Everybody knows. I don't. I don't know the names. I don't. I don't know. That's the. That's the only one that I could probably say I can throw at this. That that could become a whole different. This conversation. This guy's gonna insert Brian Pumper now. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a pause? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, if he doesn't put a pause graphic over that when he inserts that, that's on you, bro. Yeah. Shout out Zealous. If you need any productions done, shout it. Trust me, go find him on Instagram. Doing big things out here. 
Big, 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 big things. Like huge, humongous. The price, yo, I, the price might be going up soon still. <laughs> like yesterday's price ain't gonna be tomorrow's price. That's a good button too. What? Oh, yeah. Only <laughs> ain't nothing gonna top that. Shout out Lazy Jaw. Go stream some Lazy Jaw music. I like the Let's Fly Kite though. That's my favorite button right now. All right, but we gotta wrap up this whole. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Like fuck, I, which, like, I hope you wrapped it up. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this guy's getting all of my business heavy. This guy just wants to yeah, air me out. Um, so when she's giving me the tour, I'm asking questions. I'm not just coming from it like I'm about to experience this, like whatever. Mm. I'm also looking at it from a comedic standpoint. Like I see so many premises that are occurring literally in front of my fucking face. Like we're joking as we're here, and it's like. But like, I have another question. Yeah, yeah. Was that her first time being there? Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Um Cause I wanted to make sure that you weren't on the tour and she was on some oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's yeah, that's that's what she's talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember I was telling you before, like that's what Yo, that, then I'm gonna be on some like, yeah, hey, how many times you been in here? Yeah, that that'd be I'm not in the lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the experience. I, okay. So yeah, like yeah. we're not I look at it like I'm there for I also hope this young lady doesn't get mad the fact that you, I, I no don't know one, if she listens. No one even needs to know anything. Um, this could be all made up. <laughs> we could just be trying to get your don't attention to sell that. you no, fucking kited don't, lighters. No, don't do, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, Come man. On. This is real life. So so, so she's We're on the speaking she our <laughs> perspective. That is what we do here. It's all truth. Oh. A lot of humor, but it's a whole lot of truth at the same time. Or you could pull a what's her face? Who? In, 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 uh, Megan's friend. What's her name again? Who you talking about? The girl that's taking the stand that she she just keeps making oh, up the story. What's her name? I, no, I don't know. Ke- Kelsey. Whatever. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Yo, she's got <laughs> the story mixed up. anyway. So, um, yeah, she's giving me the tour. I'm asking questions, and I'm looking at it. From a comedic standpoint as well. And I'm also like, this This is like, this is interesting. It's different. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. I don't know. For my personality, it's cool. But anyway, when when we got into it, like, it was, it, that vibe completely changed. And it's just like, all right, this is quite the experience without yeah, getting yeah. into any more details. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Dan Corgan, real bad man. I, I feel like. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. You got to experience something like that. It's like. Let me check that box. So if my grandkids ask me questions, I'll be like, yeah. It, it's like that. Yeah. It is kind of like that. Or even your son. But it wasn't planned. It wasn't like planned yeah. like, oh my God, that, that's on my list of things yeah, to do. Yeah, but it's, it's a good yeah. enough experience. I, might I, I walked into it blind almost and was like, yeah, eight that months. Yeah, yeah. You can, uh, I'll do that still. <laughs> this is a nice little vibe still. I can do this again. <laughs> and like I said, yo, homeboy, next time you want to watch... The, Come. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna watch a real bad boy. Like I'm ready for this now. I, I flew my kite. I I drank my stout. I'm ready. That's funny. Them times I wasn't even yeah. on those ones, bro. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's 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 fucking funny. Yeah, Come watch this, this guy. You want him to watch? <laughs> <laughs> Just oh. the jerking off thing, bro. Don't let me see you doing it, cause then pff, you're gonna I, have to get. I don't. Drunk. I don't know if the, I don't know if that's a thing or not. But that, that would. You be know what? It. I would love to find. I would love to see a poll of how many women are willing to do it. Do what? To go to a swingers club and just be like, yo, I want. I wonder how many women I so, know who have gone so, and have, we've never had that conversation. So here, here's the thing, right? So uh, that was a part of it too. There's way, in my opinion, way more guys that were there. Yeah. So I'm like, going back to what I was saying, um, I would never do it by myself. It was just whatever yeah, happened. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, I, I'm yeah. looking at it like, yo, you're, it, I'm not explaining it. Like, I felt like this ain't the spot to be just chilling. Like, yeah, you, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. back to that, then there's also, they have these performances. So a lot of people are on OnlyFans like crazy. Mm. That's like, that's their escape. Mm. And mm. it's like their fucking life, right? So mm. it, they're getting paid for a reason. They do some of those shows there. So they have live shows there. Mm. I didn't anticipate going there for a live show. It's not like, oh, yeah, we got to make fucking 12 o'clock because so-and-so's mm-hmm. performing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But some, I guess Boston that's a part. Boston Cream of- <laughs> Bun is on the marquee. 
Can't miss them Tuesday nights. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go hashtag that later. Oh man, you, you gotta make a t-shirt. You got you gotta make a you t-shirt. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna go play back that VHS real quick. <laughs> I take a screenshot. Oh man. So that's that's the next thing. So whatever. Is that might Boston be- Cream Butter, Joe Buttons. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I can't go on, man. I don't know what the fuck to say after that. Oh, man. Pause that for a So second. you joined your, you enjoyed yourself that night. It was an experience. You went home with a smile on Yo, your Jermaine, face. Yo, Jermaine, you're going to need some serious edit work on this shit, what? bro. <laughs> no, I'm just saying in general. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great thing. I mm. think it could easily turn into some nasty shit <laughs> yeah. um, if you're with the wrong person, in my opinion. I think some people are into... All kinds of crazy, crazy fetishes. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. they're out there. Yeah, like everybody's got their things, though. But we're all they people. have we're different all... room. Like, like the rooms that they have yeah. are exposing the different kinds of shit that go on yeah. there, right? So, like, you, I don't know. I don't want to judge anything, but it's just it, like exactly. there's some shit that I'm not yeah. into. But like, whatever. Like, someone could be saying that about me right now, and exactly. it's not that I'm into it, but like, I whatever. And the last thing I would ever want for anybody is to ever feel uncomfortable in life. And if there's anybody out there going through that level of trauma, like internally, find a friend and just have some real conversation. Oh, you tied it back to all the way there. That's in the. I there. feel like that's the way to end. Yeah, because it, like, it's, oh, we're ending it there. I, yo, buddy, <laughs> <laughs> like it's four twenty, brother. All right, cool. <laughs> I got things to do. But yeah, as I was saying, um, any trust me, find somebody to just have some real conversations with. A lot of us have reach some of those points i have i know one or two people that have actually tried before and were unsuccessful yeah eh? yeah i would like i and i wonder how that feels like not yeah. how it feels but like what they're thinking like yo i almost like what their reaction is after the fact like i guess they're good yeah then, right? and I, i'm sure and that's I'm, scary I'm, but i'm also sure we know a few like i you know somebody and i know somebody i, who, had, a, I had a really close family member I, to do I, it. Of, yeah. of course yeah, yeah. i remember but yeah. that's what i mean it's like it happens. It does. So don't think you're alone in even those thoughts of going that far with it. And if it's that serious, trust me, either find a close friend, a close group of friends. We've mentioned before that we find this therapeutic in a way. And I, I've even mentioned I haven't seen my therapist in a hot minute, but it is what like just talk about it because we all have these things that we may think make us weird. We have these traumas that we deal with, but somehow all you have to do is make it through the day and tomorrow we'll, we're going to see another day. So I want to add to that real quick, right? Bro, <coughs> yeah. I, like, that, no, go, go, go. go. <laughs> I'm just reminding it's 420. No, no okay. I'm just well, saying. It's 421 now, but. <laughs> all right, cut it, cut it, cut it. No, no, no. Finish, 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 finish. Hey, I look at it like everybody's in need of that conversation, right? Mm-hmm. I'm talking to a guy, uh, tell us, call me. I was canceling. Oh, you got a story story. I was killing the line. <laughs> I was killing the line at TELUS. Mm. And this guy just, we started having a conversation, right? Mm. Uh, how are you? How's it going? Whatever, whatever. How was COVID for you? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, it's been a wild couple of years. Mm. But I'm in a really nice space right now. And he's like, oh, I could probably give you a run for your money um, with the three years or whatever, right? Mm. And I'm like, nah, I don't think you can still. Like, I, I, I think it's not even a competition. Anyway, so we go back and forth, and he starts telling telling me what's going on with him. This is a fucking TELUS guy. So mm-hmm. back to mm-hmm. just talking to them sometimes, it, it led to something. He's canceling the line for me, so it's not like I have time. I have to get this done. But he's just opening up about everything that he fucking went through. And I'm like, shit, that's a lot. But he's got a great outlook on it, and he's sharing, like, the experience, how it helped what he did to get support mm-hmm. um who he spoke to like things like that and it's like more guys need to be able to do that with each other because i feel like we struggle to let our emotions out mm-hmm. and often enough everybody's going through something very similar um but you gotta just build that up and have those kind of people around you man if not then yeah go 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 get some sort of support somewhere else but it's not cool to deal with it yourself. That shit is scary. That shit is scary. I see people fucking, like, unable to speak about it, man. Um, it's sad, and it could potentially lead to that. And on that note, it's now 424, but it's a holiday season, and I just thought I should let you know, brother, we've been doing this for just over a year now. If, for people who don't know, we 
met last year in October. Yeah. And we've sort of just been recording our conversations ever since. Slowly but surely, they're all coming out. There's some really good stuff. Go check us out online. You can find us on Instagram. Find us everywhere. But, yo, SB, trust me, it's been a year and change, but I love you, yo. Nats, I love you, brother. It's 100% mutual, man. And um, if you didn't catch it already, that's SB. I'm Bun. Shout out Face. He actually did ask me to shout out all the blue collar workers. Shout out Canada Post drivers, UPS drivers, FedEx drivers, Purilator, ATS, whoever I missed. It's the holiday season. Only going up this year. And on that note.